So I recently got asked a little bit more about how the solar thermal collector works and so I thought I would uh, do another video on it. Um, it's pretty simple, the, uh, which is why uh, my friend named his company Simple Solar. Um, but basically, this three-way valve in here is one of the main innovations that he came up with in order to make sure that the um, system was flawless. So basically, water goes into the collector, okay, and I'll just pan up there, um, and it goes in in the far corner over there. Okay, and then it travels through the collector. I'll pan around to the front to show you guys that a little bit more. Maybe I'll show that to you right now. So there's the collector right there and water goes in on the far side or glycol I should say. You can see the photovoltaic panel right up here. And then it comes out of this port right here. And then it travels down this pipe and then it enters into this three-way valve. Now this three-way valve is a very special three-way valve as it's set to uh, make sure that the water coming out of here never goes above 80 degrees Celsius. So if the water coming out of the panel is higher than 80 degrees Celsius, then this valve will open up a port which will allow some fluid to come through this back pipe right here which is also connected to the inlet travel into the three-way valve, mix, and then travel down to the solar storage tank um, no higher than 80 degrees Celsius. Now if the water is lower than 80 degrees Celsius, then the valve will just allow free flow down to the tank. So this thing only kicks in a substream of flow if the temperature in this pipe exceeds the 80 degrees Celsius number. Now you can get different valves that will allow you to mix at different levels. Um, and so this is the particular valve that he chose to use um, and uh, this is the piece that makes sure that the system never overheats. Now there's a few benefits to that. Number one, if you're making sure that your glycol doesn't go over to that, over that critical temperature, it means that you don't have to replace the glycol all the, all the time. The other thing that happens is that you never get over pressure situations where your system just gets so hot that it actually starts to compromise some of the connections in the system. We call that stagnation. Um, and so you're never having to replace the glycol. You don't have stagnation issues. Um, it also allows you to use um, PEX or lower temperature rated pipes in order to convey the liquid from the roof down to the tank. So overall, I, I, I'd say that Simple Solar, again, it has one of the best systems on the market. Um, I'll make sure I put their link in the show notes below. And if you have any questions, you can get in touch with Tom Jackman. He's, uh, he's a great guy and uh, definitely knows his stuff when it comes to solar thermal. Hopefully you found that interesting. If you uh, want to learn more about this type of thing, check us out at vergepermaculture.ca and make sure you subscribe below.